even in this group and those listening in other places will doubt the message because it is the bias of humanity to do so. You learn one way and another way comes. There is always the question, is it real? And these are the things that you are faced with. Can humans find a time when they will allow space for what they don't believe is possible? Will there ever come a time when they start examining pieces and parts of their reality that may be different than they think? Which opens the door for me to talk about, very briefly, a beautiful system, physics with an attitude, where it describes physics differently than you think because it appears to be biased, and it is. Connect the dots, spiritual common sense, who created physics? Who is the creator of all things? And the answer is the I am. The creative source that is in you, that loves you beyond measure, has created the very seat of reality that you sit in and live in. The physics of everything was created from the central source. Do you think within that physics there would be perhaps some anomalies that would indicate that God is there? Do you think perhaps there would be things you haven't discovered yet that you're just now examining that would show you something you didn't expect? Physics with an attitude, but the attitude is harmony, togetherness, synchronicity, and love. And that's what I want to talk about. It's not going to take long before scientists start to see what I'm going to be calling the field. Now this is known and is being taught. It is already out there. It is already being looked at and examined. And what they are saying, it is time for you to understand that if you vibrate slightly differently, you can be in tune with the cosmos. And they use the example of resonant frequencies. I have my own. Have you ever sung anything in the shower? <laughs> and as you sing certain notes, the shower will vibrate louder than other times. The answer of why that would be is that the note you are singing is a frequency that resonates to the space of the shower. You have just hit a resonant frequency of the shower and it sounds louder and brighter. And it's so true also and it's being taught today that if one stringed instrument plays a string loud enough, another stringed instrument next to it will have the same string with the same note on it start to vibrate slightly. That is the resonant frequency. You might call it planned harmonics. Dear ones, the physics of the planet is filled with this. And what we call the field is that space that is physical around you that God has placed in a way that is biased. Its attitude is togetherness and harmony. And you are starting to be asked to harmonize and resound to the field. Now this has other words and many already know this and are trying. Getting to a place where you resonate to that which is around you. This is the field. The field is a benevolent, harmonious vibration. And if you were to then go and harmonize with it, with your consciousness, you activate your cellular structure. You live longer. Harmonizing with the field, with consciousness at the right time and the right place actually causes spontaneous remission. Did you ever wonder why this was possible? Those who could totally and completely harmonize with the field can control physics. Have you ever heard in history of any master that had control over physics? There are those who are currently on the planet who can do this. There have been those recently deceased in India who could do this. I'm telling you something because you need to know that in this new energy, the field has increased its awareness, harmonized, and find the frequencies of consciousness that are in the field. Physics is starting to have names for this, for they're sensing it and seeing it. It's outside of linearity, so they call it quantum. Entrainment. Entanglement, many words that are the same thing. Things that want to work together. Literally, things that don't normally work together, but when they're exposed to the field, they do. It's happening more and more. 
I want to tell you why I'm talking about this. Because, dear ones, there are so many of you who will sit there and say, I've tried and I've tried. I meditate, I go here, I go there. And I really can't find the sweet spot. I can't find that place that harmonizes and vibrates with the creative source. Dear ones, the field was created for you. It is literally waiting. As a resonant frequency with your consciousness and your sweet spot, it's ready to be activated. This is a word that's used too often. Ready to enhance you because you are part of the field. Dear ones, it is difficult to give you these kinds of messages. Something you have not seen before, that is not linear, that is even in your belief system. Doesn't it make sense that the creative source would posture physics to be benevolent and helpful? Doesn't it make sense? that there would be numbers of things that you will discover that you can hook into which will make sense, will solve problems in creating synchronicity and changing what you would call the luck factor. It's done with the field. Call it enhanced intuition if you wish. The field is that which helps those who tune with it. And it coordinates things. It puts things together. It makes things harmonize and happen and vibrate at the same frequency. Let's interpret that. That's solution. That's life that makes sense. That's answers to problems in ways you didn't think they could be answered. That's control over who you meet and who you talk to because you're in the field and they vibrate with you and you vibrate with them. There's a fast track system to getting in touch with the field. You may have been meditating, you may have been asking, you may have been praying. I want to give you a help here. Do you know what innate is, really? Innate has been called the smart body of the human being. Almost like a body sensitivity that is beyond you, inside you. This is the part of the body that you muscle test. Did you know that you can ask your body questions in a certain way and get answers that your consciousness does not know? That is the smart body. The smart body is the basis for kinesiology. There is part of the body that knows more than you and it is called innate. Part of the new energy is starting to build bridges between you and innate. But the innate is the secret. It is the answer to the field. Innate already is connected to the field. Did you ever wonder how homeopathy works? You put a tincture with so few parts per million under your tongue and you create a tincture which is programmable, telling the body what you wish it to do. You are signaling instructions to the body with chemistry that your body sees it instantly. Homeopathy is the way of things in many countries. Innate sees the instruction under the tongue. Innate then tells the body what to do. The smart body is very smart. It is responsible for seeing the messages and acting on them in order to connect you to the field. The field is a benevolent, harmonious physics around you that enhances healing, creates peace, lets you sit in joy, and it's everywhere. Someday the field will have another name. But right now, I am telling you, it is the secret for the new energy. If you're trying to get in touch with the field and you have meditated and you've asked and you've sat there and you're frustrated because you don't know, it's time to get in touch instead with that which wants to talk to you and that's innate. It is already there. It's built into your body. Let's talk about how you can talk to your innate. I want you to understand and look at what we've been teaching now for three years. There are new influential powers that you don't know exist in the form of you talking out loud and saying instructions to your body of what you want. The biggest one, the most influential one is well-constructed affirmations. An affirmation spoken out loud is a positive reinforcement of what you are stating is yours. You're not asking for it. You're not wishing for it. You are stating it is yours. And innate is the first to hear it and act on it. Because innate is at the surface. You've muscle tested it for years. You've homeopathied it for years. It is there with an antenna 
ready to listen. And there's no greater influence than your voice and your consciousness stating what you are. Not what you want, what you are, out loud. Is it necessary to state affirmations out loud or can we say them within stating out loud? Because in this new energy, the field has amped up. It is more available to synchronize with, to entangle with than ever before. It is ready to put things together for you, both situationally, biologically, consciously. It is ready to expose you to your higher self in a way that you had only hoped for. And the main tool is you talking to it. And right now, the best way is through the consciousness of affirmation. It is why you're going to see an explosion in suggested affirmations all over the planet. They have been here for 50, 60, 70 years, but dear ones, now is when they blossom. And the reason for them is now, so that you can get in touch with that which is in your own smart body, which is already connected to the benevolence of physics called field. I gave you a tool that's practical in 3D, and I told you the workings of it, the minutia of it, and the reason in physics for it. If I tell my body who I am, if I tell my body I'm healed, if I tell my body my situation is settled, the fear starts to go away. Things start to diminish that are the old energy. It makes a difference. All I'm going to tell you is be careful what you say. Construct that which you tell your body in, in a positive way that is your statement of who you are. Now, be careful. There are those who you too linear to do this. You're sick and you're coughing and you're stating that you're well. And you will say, well, I'm just in denial. Here I am coughing at the same time I'm stating that I'm healed. You don't understand the physics at all of a multidimensional circle. What you are doing is enhancing a time fractal of the future. You are creating that which is not here yet, but in our way of seeing the field, it is already there. It already exists. Can you see it? Can you see the potential of it? Can you state it without your linearity and the mind trying to put together unequal things? So the sick person can say out loud, I am healed, I am whole, thank you spirit. And in the next moment, cough. The person who is not abundant can say, I have abundance for my life. I don't have to worry from day to day. I have what I need because I am worth it. And at the same moment have nothing in their bank account. The person who is troubled with situations or relationships can claim total victory. I am peaceful. I am through this. Thank you, Spirit, for getting me through this awful thing. And when they awaken from this affirmation, they're still in the awful thing. Do you see what I'm saying? You start stating who you are because it's who you're going to be in your linearity, but it's who you are to us. What a difference. What a difference. Each one listening to this, I know. And each one has got something to say to your body. I know. It's time to connect to the field. There'll be more. Dear ones, you're already equipped. It's there. Physics, indeed, has an attitude. And the attitude is benevolence with his hand outstretched and saying, come see how we can help. That's the beauty of the Creator. This energy today. And so it is.